Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel today. We're here and we're making alcoholic beverages. If you're not 21, you can't watch this video because it's illegal for you to even look at alcohol. So if you're not 21, you have to get out. I'm here today with my good pal, Eddie. Hello. Eddie Burback. That's of, me. Of Eddie, of Eddie, Eddie Burback and Burback channel. I'm not very creative with the channel names. We don't have to. And also, Jessica here is uh, going to be teaching us how to make some drinks today. Oh, yeah. So where are we? We are at ABC Bartending, um, ABC Bartending Schools here in Culver City. And we're going to be making some drinks today. You guys we're going to make some drinks. Yes. Oh, yeah. I know how to make like two drinks. Eddie, <laughs> I can pour beer into a glass. I want to make a drink that I know how to make, mm -hmm. which is an old fashioned. Oh, and it's I a classic because it. it's Heck old, yeah. old fashioned. Yeah, it's old and it's also fashion. It's fashionable. So first things first, we need our bucket glass, mm -hmm. tumbler glass, rocks glass. This glass has so many names. Very, very, very common glass for various drinks. Okay, cheers. I uh, thought that this was going to be glass, glass, but it's, it's hard plastic. Yeah. Yes, it can. It Which is makes sense hard plastic. because you're teaching people things. So we definitely have to start with our most important item here, the star of the show, our whiskey. So, I thought genuinely that you were going to say ice. Most of the times ice tend to never go last because of spills, mm -hmm. but this drink is really cool because it's just whiskey. I have a question. Yeah. When, when a bartender is like, do you want um, whatever, whatever, or do you want well? Oh! I'm always intimidated. <laughs> I'm always just like, ah, oh, whatever. But if you're like, well, <laughs> then is that just like the cheapest or is that just like the standard for the bar? Ding, or? ding, ding. It is your house. It is okay. the cheapest, right? Okay. This is your well. Your well cool. is right in front of you, right? Your bartender has this well. It's also called a speed rack, right? Ooh, I kind of like speed rack. Speed rack. I That's like kind of cool. cool. See, there's never one name for one thing here in this industry, okay? Mm -hmm. This is your well right in front of you and your speed rack. It serves the purpose of like kind of housing the house liquor that you're constantly using, right? Mm -hmm. You're working at a nightclub, you have a jam-packed line of 50 people, you gotta move, right? Mm -hmm. This is everything, this is your convenient bar. So I'm assuming in the speed rack, without looking, because it is right here, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you'd have like vodka, yes. tequila, gin, whiskey. And then maybe a, a liqueur that is very, very common, right? Your liqueur is your redistilled spirit um, that's filled with flavor, mostly sugars, that serves as an ingredient in our cocktails. Really What's important. the Triple sec between liquor and liqueur? I have, is it just the way you say it? I, I, every time I hear liqueur, yeah. I think about that. Right. And I go, I should Google it. And then I don't ever. You're talking too loud. She's going to hear you, and it's going to be really I embarrassing. I want to clear the conversation. No, there are it's, no silly questions here. It's a dumb question. OK, so if there's no silly questions, no silly questions. No silly questions. is this ketchup? Is this mustard? <laughs> it kind of looks and like it. This is orange. I know, right? <laughs> orange. <laughs> the color, not a flavor. These are our most common mixers. That mm -hmm. is your cranberry juice, not ketchup. Mm -hmm. That is your orange juice, right? We mm -hmm. need our good I was orange. Right on orange. Mm -hmm. And pineapple juice, okay? Ah, pineapple juice. Not mustard. Our soda gun is right here at our disposal. Well. I love using those. It honestly just saves the day because at They're a nightclub, really you know, who has time? Like a quick bar. This is a very mm -hmm. fast paced environment. Do you ever, when you're, and we should probably get to actually making the drinks, but <laughs> You ever, you're you're behind the bar and you're just chilling and then you're like, I don't want to use the water in the dishwasher or effort to clean the glass. What's the harm in just a quick, eh, you know? Oh, that pre-COVID, post-COVID is not okay. If no one's around. Oh, if no one's no. around. Because think the about all the- don't stay there. I they think don't the rule. stay there. What if you weighed the odds and you still want to despite the safety of the people around you and you've decided that that's what you selfishly want to do. Then if your bar manager just theoretically sees you, you may or may not be out of a job. I'll blackmail what I, him. What blackmail I, him. Blackmail. Then I won't get fired. Then you may or may not suffer from a lawsuit. Let's Black make a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make our first drink. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, we'll just talk about so much stuff along the way, okay? Sweet. Here we go. We need our whiskey. What is our whiskey of choice? Here is your back bar, your display bar. This is where all of the premium liquor is housed, all of our call brand is housed. This right? is not our well. Quality top shelf. This is not well because the well is right here. Let's both choose yeah. whiskey. Okay. And Eddie, you, so you choose yeah. yours. Your I'll choose mine. Yeah, Got I'll it. choose mine too. But it has to specifically be bourbon or rye. It can't be Tennessee whiskey, it can't be 
Like, it can't be Scotch or Irish. It has to simply be American whiskey. So okay. while we're looking for said American whiskey, what would happen if I used not what you just you. said? I mean, that traditionally these recipes weren't made out of thin air, right? Right. Yeah. Well, these recipes were made with chemistry in mind. Bourbon sweet and rye is um, has a spicy taste. So the way um, all the other ingredients, bitters and simple syrup complements the entire recipe, there's a reason <laughs> that has significance the behind the choice of Oops. whiskey. What's your choice, Eddie? Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna grab Makers because it's in front of me. Think of all the palettes. The the Crown Royal, but um, it's not the correct one. No, that's, that's Canadian. Routinely, what my parents would get each other as a routine mm. alcohol. Well, we're talking pre-divorce, of course. Yes. They don't get each other the drink anymore. No, but you don't do, do you that. think maybe sometimes they have the drink and they have fond memories of their I don't think they have marriage? The, well, I don't, I, uh. What are we drinking, people? We got some Jim Bean <laughs> bourbon whiskey. We got some Bullet bourbon whiskey, and we got some Maker's Mark <laughs> bourbon. Editors, I'm giving you a great edit to do. Do the Smash Brothers uh, edit, so it's like Eddie, and it's like whatever the whiskey <laughs> is, and then me with Bullet. So remember, we had a conversation about um, classic or contemporary, mm. right? Classic would, uh, old fashioned would be um, with no muddled fruit, right? We okay. wouldn't have to muddle any fruit, right? Mm. That would involve our cherry, right? Obviously, this is all pretend. No, that's a real cherry. <laughs> Look at these guys. That Go ahead, would... Go and eat it. <laughs> yeah, this is all pretend. But, um... Oh, no, you put that to the side of your face. Never you mind. just said they were real, and it's so like, if you want to be real, they're they're videos, then I guess Well, you Eddie, it's taking it away from the business, and, you know, the customer's always right, and they said to me earlier... The, did you read the sign? Bar rules. The bartender is right. Uh. Rule number one <laughs> always applies as rule number two. This isn't a customer's always right type atmosphere. <laughs> so we're gonna pour two ounces. So bartenders free pour most of the time, and we do it with counts. So two ounces is what the recipe calls for, two ounces of whiskey, and that is an eight count. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, gravity's going. Yeah. So here's my example, actually. Ready? So this is our count. Stop it, right? That's I, two ounces. I didn't get a count of. I was trying to fast count. I got to seven. Let me do that again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Will you count out loud? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Okay. Got it. That is two ounces of liquor. Right. Eddie, you, you go. You it. go first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I have a liquor spot now. Okay, ready? Was that a little low? I think because it, it. I think that's pretty good. You got pretty good, Eddie, for your first shot. Come on. Listen, I I guessed. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You took your time, but you know, I think that's that's pretty decent. I think that's pretty decent. Yay! I think that's, I think we all got I it. I love how all of our different whiskeys have slightly different colors. <laughs> because they're all slightly different whiskeys, right? Ah! So mm -hmm. now we need our bitters, guys. Go bitters. ahead and grab the bitters right in front of you. It is this bottle <laughs> right so here. Sorry. Does anyone know what bitters are? What are bitters? Uh, it's ar an aromatic. It's uh, angostura. Angostura. This is your a part of your spice rack. This is a mm. bartender spice rack. We definitely need two dashes of this here bitters in our old fashioned. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little dab dab. Okay, Got it. this is filled with flavor. Okay, it's bitter. It's literally not called bitters for no reason. <laughs> There's not much that dab, came dab. out. Now, last but not least, we need our sweet component. Remember, what's a cocktail? A mixed drink that is composed of the alcohol, the bitter component, and the sweet component. Sweet so we got the component. alcohol and the bitter, mm -hmm. now we need the sweet. This is yeah. our simple syrup, yeah. right? If in case you, know, you don't have simple syrup, which is literally just half water, half sugar, sugar cubes are traditionally a part of the recipe. So, Give it a little squeeze. Whoa. And you're How? Good. What? <laughs> How much of a squeeze are we talking? I think maybe count like three seconds. One, two, three. Oops. Beautiful. Oops. This is beautiful. Okay. You guys are doing two, amazing. Three. Uh huh. You guys are so. Right. Yes. So what do we have left? Our ice. 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 Like probably like half of the half of the. Got it. So traditionally, would you use a big oh, a, quarter a big this boy? Am I a different size than yours? Yeah. Last but not least, we need our cherry garnish. Now, if I were to, like, Ethan just dropped it, is it okay in front of the customer to palm a cherry right <laughs> off the bar and put it right into the drink? I think it's just as, as hygienic, but if okay. you blow I, it, I it's fine. <laughs> right in front of them, you pick it up, 
Because <laughs> what's, what's bacteria, right? Because yeah. what's bacteria? It's kind so of a real, concept. If I can't see it, it's not real. It's almost ready for the customer to grab. You go ahead and grab your stirring spoon. Mm. Eddie, your stirring spoon is right in front of you. Mine's right here. Wait. And give it a quick stir, and then your customer can grab it. I learned something <laughs> about these spoons. Oh, recently. the thing on TikTok from yesterday. Oh. So you can pour it here oh. or something, and it goes, oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. All right, let's show up our, our, our old fashioned, guys. Cheers. Hey, cheers. cheers. So uh, that right here is a classic old fashioned, right? Listen, um, don't, definitely don't put this in the video. Don't put, definitely don't. Don't put this in the video. Definitely don't put this in the video, but there's not actual alcohol in it because this is a, for training purposes. But training purposes. Video. But don't, don't put, put this, this in the, the video. In the video, so Someone that's why it's like we're it. not actually drinking it. Um, it's because it's because <laughs> this is all home. it's all <laughs> training. It's for training. If we're at school, you don't drink at school. Well, maybe you, can't you drink at school unless can't you're drink. a teacher and you don't like your job. That's. Right. First drink down. First drink down. I say that we step it up a notch. Let's yes. step it up a notch. Let's make something a little more complicated. Let's grab our shakers. Whoa. Shakers. This is the, really the one where you... Right, so honestly, go for it. Like, you know what I mean? So now we're gonna make a kamikaze. One of my favorite shooters, right? Gets the people going, okay? Gets the people going. Shooters are for like those people that wanna just like, Party. You know, shots are like, yeah, party. This shooter has vodka, lime juice, and triple sec. We're gonna put everything in the bigger tin. We're gonna add ice, but we don't need more than a scoop of ice. Because we dispose of this ice, it's considered dirty ice, right? We don't mm -hmm. reuse it. That's not, there's no cross-contamination mm -hmm. going on, right? And then we give it a little shake, shake, shake. And then you're gonna grab your Hawthorne strainer right in front of you. This is called a Hawthorne strainer, right? You take your top off once you're ready. I mean, if we have to. Grab your shot glass, mm -hmm. okay? A shot is two ounces? Normally, shots are between one ounce mm -hmm. to two ounces okay. nowadays. Mostly, like in an ABC bartending setting, our standard pour is usually one, 1.5 ounce, okay. which is a six count. So, what would be a 12 count, Eddie? It'd be 2.5, right? I don't know. Every half an ounce <laughs> or is no, two that'd be a 10. That would be 10. So it would be a, it would, or wait, you just confused me. Because you said yeah, but, and I think I might be wrong. <laughs> First, we can start off with our ice. Let's start off ice. with us. We need vodka, boys. Vodka. What's our choice of vodka? Tito's, usually. So, let's show the people, let's show the people. We got some kettle one in the house, some gray goose, and some Tito's, okay? So, the difference between our kamikaze and our first drink that we made, our first cocktail was an old fashioned. You notice that it was quite a handful of, of whiskey here, but mm. we only need an ounce. And an ounce, since we know that every half an ounce is two counts, is a four count. Let's go. You're so four. smart. I counted to four. Yeah. So four counts. Here we go. One, One two, three, two, four. Three, You're out of four. there. I'm out of it. You're out of there. Next, we have our liqueur. It's our Rita Cell Spirit, right? It's adding sugar, it's adding flavor. This is our orange liqueur. So this, my friends, we only need half an ounce. So how many counts is that? Half. One. Two. 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 <laughs> <laughs> go uh, in and go right back out. Okay? Ready? Let's do it. In One, and out. two. That's it. Last but not least, we need our lime juice, okay? So this lime colored uh, juice is very ambiguous. We can use it for so many different things, but right now it's lime juice. Another half ounce. Half ounce? Mm -hmm. Yes. But in and out. That was a little much. In and out. All right, boys, what's next? Shake. Oh, yeah. You want to make sure you secure. Is that secured, Eddie? I think so. Okay, I hope so. We're going to find so out. I hope so too. I'm oh, all, all in. All right. Shake, 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 shake. Is there a proper Two way to dance? shake? Honestly, this is where the personality shines. Because I've seen Whoa. a lot of people do. Like, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a You need to be acceptable to like, one of these. Basketball player, give a little like pop. And then, you know, pour it, make it look all pretty. Oh, Just beautiful. up to the top? Yep. Oh! Don't you, worry about you it. You okay? okay? Oh, no! <laughs> Bottoms up. And then Keep it clean. we just sort of like, shoot this back. And if you don't, leave. Or whatever. So you keep a gun. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our kamikaze, boys. Beautiful. Well done. So <laughs> that's still a next step up, but still fairly simple. That wasn't too bad. I want to make something that's really going to rock my socks, but okay. also the socks of the person that is going to drink it. I'm feeling a sour cocktail. I'm feeling an AMF. What is that? An adios, mother. Whoa. 
Holy shit. AMF. Oh, they have to leave the bar after having it. So go ahead and actually grab the blue curacao right behind you, right in front of Eddie, actually. This is mm. the liqueur that is in the AMF, okay? Mm. It's definitely blue because of artificial flavoring, but it is an orange liqueur. For this drink, we're gonna need a tall glass. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> it's really clean glass. <laughs> it's the glass. Mine's also very I like to clean. Give, I'll give the customer a drink that has mm -hmm. my clear fingerprint on it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, again, everybody, watch. this is training purposes. Nobody actually drinks the thing, so don't be in the comments like, oh, they need to wash their dishware. Maybe you just need to... First, we need to fill our glass with ice, and I'd say three-fourths, so most of the glass... Is it and kosher it. to just go straight in with the glass, or is that not a good thing to do? Very, very great question. A big hazard, a big no-no. So many things can go wrong in this situation, because if this is real glass, it could definitely break in the mm. ice. And now you have a piece of ice, a glass that looks like ice, and someone drinks it, and that's a lawsuit. Mm. Yeah, because the glass tastes bad. There's four different kinds of booze in here. There's tequila, there's gin, there's vodka, there's rum. All four clear of our clear liquors, all right? What so. Are, what are we making? We're making an AMF. That's right. Yeah, there's a whole, we did a whole thing on it. <laughs> right, we, sure did. we need half an ounce of each liquor. We're literally okay. in and out. See, I'm starting with gin. In Wait, what? Okay. Gin? In. Gin. Uh-huh. Okay, vodka. vodka. In and out. One. Wait, where's the two? Uh, rum. Rum. I think I got One. everything. All right, great. Two. Is this not enough? Does it look like it not enough? It looks good. It's looking good. Let's go. This looks... Slower. Slower? Slow. No. <laughs> Next up, we have our... Blue. Our magic. We have our blue. We, we have, have our, our blue. blue carousel, our orange liqueur, okay? Maybe three counts, okay? Okay. Can, you, can I count on you? Yep. All right. One, two, One, three. One, two, three. Out of there. Look at that beautiful blue. Ooh. And then we sh oh, mix yeah. it around? Oh, we're going to use our stirring spoon okay. at the end. So next we have our sweet and sour. So we mm. have our magic potion right here that can be any juice that we want it to be, any right? Juice. Let's do a three count of our sweet and sour. Ready? One, One two, two three. three. In and out. I'm getting a lot of stuff on the floor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. That's bartending. We have one more thing left, boys. We have our lemon lime soda, right? Oh. So that L on your soda gun, go ahead mm -hmm. and grab it. A razzle dazzle, here we go. How much dazzle. razzle dazzle? Honestly, you're filling the glass and not all the way to the top, right? Because we don't want anyone to spill it, spill it on themselves. Any garnish for this yeah, bad fine. boy? That is a great question. We have a lemon garnish. And oh. go ahead and place that on the, the lip. Do we stir this? this. Oh. And yes. So I was thinking to maybe like set myself apart, like I would have like a sig signature as a bartender. And I was thinking maybe, hear me out, I make the whole drink in front of them, they're all wowed, and mm. then I serve it to them like this. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> and I, but here's the thing, here's the magic touch. Right before you put it down, you just mix it a little bit. A little bit more. And then right at them. So you can flick or you can give them kind of a taste. If they have glasses, it all over. Well, you can also just give them a taste of what's coming. Kind of <laughs> just stick your yeah. finger in their mouth. Cheers, boy. Oh, cheers. It looks great. It, it looks, looks really, really good. I'm so proud of you all. For the finale, you know, we want to send our customers home with something big. Ooh. Something over the top. One of the most intricate, maybe flashy drinks that doesn't involve fire. Next up, boys. A margarita. Your most infamous Latin really American like cocktail. Because honestly, mm -hmm. once you know this recipe, you can just kind of like build and like build off of it and make any kind of margarita you want. Add the strawberries, add the mango, add the jalapeno, add the cayenne, add whatever you like. That's what it's about not only being a bartender, but being a mixologist. Mm -hmm. So in front of you, you have your margarita glass. Uh, I brought these much for you guys. Um, this is not a margarita glass? That's a martini glass. So martini! I like margaritas. I don't really like martinis. That's what I'm thinking so, about. Sometimes, stupid, though... Stupid. <laughs> the whole shelf comes down. <laughs> sometimes you'll definitely see margaritas served in this, which is fine because it's it's, it's a stem cocktail glass. This glass uh, tends to be referred to as a margarita glass or a fiesta grande glass. But I thought these were really fun and cute. Fiesta, so, fiesta grande means big party. Mm-hmm. Look at what you know. Hey. You're so smart. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct, right? <laughs> Big party. Right. Big party, right? Okay, cool. Grande is in. <laughs> Don't let him be confident about it. We definitely need our shaker tin again. So let's see if you remember. What do we do first? First things first. First things first, ice. So it's a margarita. Which liquor do we need for the margarita? You know this. Tequila? Yes! Let's choose our tequila of choice. I got uh, Casamigos. So we're not doing well. You may as well have do well if you'd like. Um, or I'm sure I'd recommend a premium. 
my Quicker brain. I'm just, bar. I'm not doing I that. Got that to go to everyone always asks Ethan, how are you doing? And I have to tell them, I'm, well, I'm not doing well. It's... Is he talking to himself right now? I'm going to go with yeah. Cabo Wabo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cabo Wabo. Not supposed to be said like that, I feel. We got some Casamigos. We got Cabo Wabo. I like Casamigos a lot. Good I job, George you Clooney. Know. You definitely did that all Period. by yourself. And we got some Casadores, okay? All right, so the reason why we're here is the alcohol. We got to pour that bad boy first, mm -hmm. okay? So we need an ounce and a half. Who remembers the count for an ounce and a half? So that's going to be three seconds. <laughs> six, six, right? Six? six, what did he say? <laughs> six seconds, right? Okay. So it's like, so like that. Six, get out of there. Go by fast. Oh, that's fun. Don't you love when that happens? <laughs> We're gonna call Simply. it good on that one. And now next we need our triple sec. Mm -hmm. We have our alcohol, now we need our sweet component, our orange three liqueur. Counts. Let's do a three count, yeah. okay? One, two, three, out of there. One more item left, okay? So we have our tequila so far, we have our triple sack. Now we need our tart component, which is our lime juice. Lime juice. Another three count, in and out. Got it. <laughs> out of there. Out now of there. that's out how we make a drink. That's how we do it. Now we need to top that thing off. Secure the bag, folks. Let's secure this bag, Eddie. <laughs> It sounded nice. All right, our Hawthorne strainer, top mm -hmm. it off. Secure with your index finger. Mm -hmm. Grab your glass, mm -hmm. or not. You could uh, you could leave well, it on the, yeah, the bar the station. Whatever's easier for you, right? And pour. That was too confident. All right, yeah, up to Ethan's core is pretty cool. Beautiful. And then we do a little Eddie Burback. A little one of these. And we send them on their way. <laughs> Give them a taste. That was well done, well done. I like, the, what are these glasses called again? Uh, Fiesta Grandes or Margarita. Jocelyn, why are you hiding behind the wall like we're gonna throw something at you? Last drink. Last right. but very not least, this is my favorite cocktail, okay? Being a rum girl myself from mm -hmm. the Caribbean, Mai Tai has to be my favorite drink. It's like the umbrella drink, right? Mm -hmm. Cute umbrella boat drinks. We are going to need both Rum. First things first, um, let's grab the rums and then we'll do our ice and our shaker tin, right? You can either use your well rum, whether it's Bacardi, your dark rum for sure, you're gonna have to come to the back bar. And the dark rum that we have here is Myers. This is Jamaican rum. This is dark rum made of molasses, okay? And our light rum is made of sugar cane. So I'm gonna use Bacardi. I'm gonna oh, use Barton, imported light rum. 40% alcohol, Eddie proof. Imported and bottled for oh, Barton proof? import ship in Chicago. They said Eddie proof. I was like, oh no. Now we need to fill our shaker tin with what? Ice! Ice. Oh, Can we double fist the pours? Most certainly. I'm sure you've seen a lot of bartenders double fist all the time, right? Eh. There's not one hand, but two hands putting put to work. We need an ounce of each. Two okay. seconds. Two, no. Uh, four seconds. In and out, ready? One, two, three, four. Beautiful! Some great double fisting you guys got there. So now we need our liqueur, right? Level of importance. We need our, how did you know? Because you said liqueur and this is the only one that I remember. Only two counts, okay? Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Now we need our mixers, mm -hmm. okay? Pineapple juice. Yes. Just a three count, okay? One, two, three. Spill the little, let's pay attention to No harm, no foul. And now we're gonna use it again for sweet and sour. <laughs> three. Different drink. Sweet and sour. Different yes. drink. What's next? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a really good shake. Okay, oh, that was uh, really great. Now we get it off. We have you our what? Hawthorne strainer on top. Oh, okay. that's, oh okay. yeah. Yeah, secure it really good. That, that, does that work? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm so oh, yeah. sorry. We need a garnish. Need a garnish. And that is a cherry. Ooh, two okay. Cherries. My signature, then because we have two cherries, right out. Mm -hmm. We have mastered the art of mixology, bartending, and drink making, thanks to you, Jessica, and ABC Bartending oh, School. Thank you so much. I said that correctly, right? In the correct ABC, ABC bartending, bartending School? school. Okay, good. cool. Perfect. I good didn't job. know if it was good like job. Good job. an good academy job. or training center. Wizarding school. Or wizarding school. <laughs> Round of applause for yourself. Put in more claps and editing. <laughs> Thank Eddie, you. We did it. We did it.